Thierry Henry was probably one of the most skillful players in his prime and there's probably dozens of skill moves that you can learn from him. But today I decided to teach you guys my favorite skill of his, the fake shot pass. And this is what it looks like. This move is next level cheeky and if done right it can also be highly effective. So imagine yourself on the corner of the penalty box, guarded by a defender. A teammate is running on the right side of you, shouting for the ball and you pull this one out of the bag. Football candy. The fake shot pass can be done in a few different ways, but let's break down the fundamentals in two simple steps before we go into the variations. But before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed with bell notifications on. Now let's get to it. Step one, the setup. This is the most crucial step and it's important to get it right. Usually when you shoot, you want to place your supporting leg about this far from the ball for optimal power transfer to the other leg. But with a fake shot pass, you don't want to shoot it with this leg, you want to pass it with this leg. Start by placing the ball on the ground in front of you. Now place yourself at an angle like this and approach the ball as if you're going to shoot or cross the ball with your strong foot. Approach the ball and swing your supporting leg slightly towards the ball. Now place your supporting foot right on the edge of the ball and try to hit the ball with the inside of your knuckle. But getting the right timing, angle and power is incredibly difficult in the beginning. But once you get a hang of it, it's actually quite easy. It's important to note that this is not a regular pass. You want to sit your foot down right on the edge of the ball and don't follow through. Your foot should stay stationary where you put your foot down. Step two, the follow through. Now this wouldn't be much of a skill move if you didn't actually fake a shot. So in this step is where you sell the move to your opponent because you want to trick your opponent into thinking that you're going for a shot or a cross. As you're approaching the ball and setting your supporting foot down, start to swing with your shooting leg. And as you hit the ball and the ball is on its merry way, follow through to make the shot look more authentic. If you want to make it look more authentic, you should also look in the direction that you're faking the shot or cross to. And if you want to sell it extra hard, you should keep your eyes in that direction even after the pass. Now, this might not sound very difficult in theory, but there are some common mistakes that you should avoid. So let's go through them. Number one, it's important to note that the pass and the fake shot is a package deal and should be done in one motion, not two. Number two, make sure that you don't follow through on the pass. So keep your foot on the ground after you tap the ball. Number three, be aware that you don't accidentally touch the ball with your shooting foot. So make sure that the timing of the fake shot is correct and that the pass is powerful enough. Number four, sell it. Make sure that you actually make it look like you're going to shoot or cross because it won't be as effective if you don't. As I mentioned before, there are a few different ways to do this move, but it's mostly about the direction of the pass. And I taught you guys the inside pass and that makes the ball go to the side. But you can actually toe poke it as well if you want the ball to go forward. So the same principle applies as before, but instead of approaching at an angle, approach straight from the back. And when you approach the ball, set your foot down behind the ball and toe poke it. It's important to remember that you don't want to poke the ball in the same direction as you're faking the pass because that would be, I don't know, stupid? So that was it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it and that you learned something new. And if you did, leave a like and a comment down below on what you want me to teach you guys in the next video. And if you're able to pull this off, tag us on Instagram and TikTok and we'll check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.